Praying and worshiping are the foundational activities in the Christian's life that bring God's presence and power. But sadly, most Christians don't know how to properly pray or worship. Nor do most Christians make time on a regular basis to do so. Some Christians have even forgotten or have never been taught that they are actually the temple of the Holy Spirit, and thus they should be in constant communion with the Lord, practicing His presence. Everybody say, practice His presence. Thank you. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 3, verse 16. I want you to see that you're a temple of the Holy Spirit. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple? And that God's Spirit dwells in your midst. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is sacred. And you together are that temple. What an encouraging scripture today to know that individually we are the dwelling place of God on this earth. That no longer does God look for a building to dwell in permanently. But permanently now he has made his dwelling place in the hearts and souls of his people and then together we are that sacred temple so as peter said it like this we are the living stones of god and then together we're built up into the living house of god isn't that amazing and so we shouldn't take that for granted so as today as we're looking at the spiritual disciplines as pra of prayer and worship we should really keep this concept in mind that we are practicing the presence of god that we are having having an awareness of God's Spirit in our lives. Do not let a fruit, a nut, and a flake, a granola Christian, or a pant-wearing yoga practicing person take spirituality away from you. Christians should be the most spiritual people on this planet. 